our HTS 900 this year um, is, is really beginning it to find its place in the market space. So we've just completed a lot of flights in both the Canadian uh, airspace as well as done some flying in, in Papua New Guinea. And the aircraft is f with the HTS 900 installed has done a phenomenal job of lifting uh, weights double to what its predecessors have in some cases. So really, um, it's really beginning to uh, get its foothold into that marketplace and we're really excited about the future for it. Honeywell this oh, year at the show has, yeah. has brought forth our Aspire 200 connected aircraft system. We're really excited about the Aspire 200 and its, its ability to um, utilize L-band satellite technology to allow our customers to truly have a high speed experience in the helicopter. And that, that goes to a variety of industries, everything from our VIP clients who want to have the connected aircraft to be able to utilize things like Facebook, um, WhatsApp, and all of the other technology to have real-time video conferencing, to downstreaming videos, to being able to utilize um, conference calling and those types of activities while they're in the air to telemedicine solutions. So Honeywell is a real big believer in the fact that we are, are beginning to have solutions for our customers that give them the ability to capitalize on that golden hour when a, when a patient is in the helicopter to provide video evidence of what the patient is experiencing as well as being able to transmit medical data and high amounts of information from the helicopter to the hospital so that they are prepared upon the patient's arrival. Really big uh, movement for us on that one, to be able to get over 300 kilobytes per second of data off the helicopter through the rotor blades with this technology and to the customers on the ground in the operation centers. So that's a real big, uh, big plus for us this year. But we do have the STC available today for the 139, both the long nose and the short nose version of it. it uh, it's being flown within the United States and now very soon in Europe and the Middle East as well. So we have customers already purchasing the system, installing the system on those helicopters. And uh, very quickly, by the end of this year, we have a slew of about 10 more helicopters coming, including the Super Puma, the S92, the AS350. So it's a gamut of helicopters from both the, from the smaller size all the way up to the heavy helicopters that are used in a variety of industries. So, um, we're really seeing this technology come to fruition. It's no longer a future technology, it's available today.